Good afternoon from the cave. Uh, just wanted to do a little thing with glues. Um, I got asked uh, what glues I use because some of the flies have uh, <laughs> pretty bomb proof. <laughs> Cheers, Tim Watson. Um, appreciate that question. It's a good. It's a very very good question actually, um, because for me as a commercial tire, there isn't really one all round option because every fly is different. What you want it to do and how you want it to to act in the water. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown. This is, you know, for UK folks, um, but in America you can get some of these products as well. Um, or indeed all over the world you can get these products as well. Okay, so the first one um, I use mostly with all my commercial tie-in um, is Yoohoo! Yoohoo! Tube. Like that. Now, this one uh, is, a, is a really, really good glue. Um, and like I say, it's on most of my flies, uh, the commercial tied ones, because it dries very quickly um, and it actually dries rock hard. Great for spreading. Dries clear. Covers a multitude of sins. You know? So that's that's the first one. Um, that's Yoohoo. Now, Yoohoo... I, I actually get that in Poundland, uh, £1.50, I know it's Poundland, but it's £1.50. Um, in America, you're probably, uh, uh, it's like the dollar stores or whatever they're called, I think the dollar stores or Dollar Tree, what they're called over there. You'll probably get it in there, okay. Um, so the next one I use is, oops, clever when you drop a fly, I'm doing this in one take, so bear with me. Doing this in one take. Right, so the next one I use is uh, Gorilla Glue Clear. Hope you can see that. Uh, nice nozzle on that as well. Um, this particular one I can I can use for a number of flies. Um, if, if I'm tying up for stock, as you can see, well, you can't really see it just now, um, you know, all my stock flies, um, if I haven't got orders that need going out, um, or sometimes in the morning what I'll do is tie like a dozen, two dozen flies um, for my stock boards uh, that ultimately go into my grab and go packs, uh, my predator packs. Uh, the, the thing with this, it's a really, really good glue. Uh, again, dries clear, dries rock solid. Um, good for a multitude of things. It takes longer to dry uh, than the Yoohoo, but it does it is really good. Um, it's also very good for finishing off um, when, when you've whipped your fly finishing off the end um that's that's a little you see it a sand hill pattern and what i've done there is i've just layered a little bit of it right there and it's it's not soft it's just it's not rubber it's hard to explain it's not it is it is soft to touch which is great obviously a great feel for the fish when they grab that because they'll hang on longer and again with that you can actually finish off your your whipping at the end with it as well um, that that's actually really good um, price wise in the UK in the UK I've actually you know in Asda believe it or not they sell that for about eight quid um, but you can buy that online for that size I think the cheapest I found it was about a fiver you know um, and it, you know for, for a for a fly tire if you're not a commercial tire that lasts for a long time and even if you are a commercial tire it's still good value for money um, with a nozzle as well you can dig it into the material as well um so that's that's another okay so the next the next one that i use is uh i've just not been long turned on to this um it's liquid fusion you know i think all this all this sell this i think online well the last time I saw this, I think it was about, I can't remember, it was about 12, 13 pounds for that. But if you go online, prices vary. I know you can get it in the States, um, and I think it is cheaper in the States. But, you know, I I've, I found that one on, uh, I think it was eBay UK on that one. Uh, what I use this one for is, I really like it for doing, let's see that properly. That's a little synthetic flash. And what I've done, I've used it for the head. So you get quite a solid head on that. Um, 
again that's that's a nice that's a nice glue that um and again it's, it's fairly rubbery to touch um it's a bit more rubbery than the gorilla glue um so it's a better feel it just depends what you like you know um this is what i've obviously been been testing over years and years and years and months uh but the, yeah that, that's quite a good one i quite like it. it's particularly good for sand oil patterns actually um yeah and it's quite light as well okay that's that's one so the final one um i i use obviously is epoxy um now a lot of people have gone off epoxy um and they're going over to the uvs and they have been going to use now uv uv is absolutely brilliant you know if you want a good uv um you know head over to um deercreek.co.uk um they, they do uh they're, they're one of the best in my opinion in the uk they're often copied uh but they, they do really really good uv um i don't use it for pike flies um and the reason i don't use it for pike flies is because i find after a bit of abuse from teeth you'll find that it, it does actually crack i mean epoxy does crack as well but uv does tend to flake and crack off it is very very good for small flies if you're doing your trouts your saltwater sea trout flies you know for whipping the finish for whip, whip finishing put some uv on so i do use it for that and for the small coarse flies um you know in some instances i'll use it as well for saltwater shrimps as the back and it does it does work for that but i don't use it anymore for pike flies um and just simply for that reason the other thing as well if you're using uv um and using super glue i've not used super glue for 10 15 years now um because a i, I actually believe that fish can smell it i think it's very off-putting for fish um and the other thing, if you're using UV with super glue, you'll find that, you know, over a very, very short period of time, what will happen is it will go white and speckle and then cloud and just go completely white. Um, so, yeah, UV does have its place. But, you know, for me personally, not for pike flies. You may be different. That's my opinion over many years of trying different things. OK, so the so the uh, epoxy that I, I use is always, always Z epoxy. I find there is nothing better than Zepoxy. I've used it for God knows how many years now. Um, again, reasonably priced, you know. It dries clear. It doesn't cloud. As some cheaper epoxies do, they'll they will cloud. Um, depends what I'm doing. Um, if I'm doing a load of flies that require... Um, like a big heavy eye and i need to get them out quickly i'll use a, i'll use a five minute epoxy um and that way you can put the epoxy on push it through the materials put the eye on just hold them for a couple of minutes or lay them down so it's it's stuck in and bobby's your uncle that's bomb proof absolutely bomb proof um the other thing i, I like about epoxy i've i've made um these things which are for the lrf brigade i fly probably as well these are these are just little uh, casted minnows, you know. So they they sink obviously because they're epoxy, but I just uh, I just lay a, lay a thirty minute epoxy on that and put it in the drying wheel, and do that a few times till you get the desired shape. Um, inside there, obviously, you can see there's various bits of materials, and if you can see that, I'm not sure if it'll focus. Is it focus? No. Nah. You can see there, there's some red flash in there. Um, along the shank of the hook, there's some silver. Great, great lot of things. So, yeah, with epoxy, I'll use the, uh, you know, if I have a lot of flies to do with epoxy, um, you know, I'll do like a, a dozen flies, then I'll mix up the 30 minute, and that gives me a chance to put all the eyes on, lay them down somewhere, and they will, they will just cure, and that'll be that done. Um, so, like I say, that's, that's about it. Um, with Zepoxy, you know, if you're if you're just starting to use epoxies and stuff, I'd recommend the Zepoxy 30 minutes. If you know what you're doing, you want a fast cure, then go for the five minute. That's uh, that that's a really really good one. Um, and obviously, I do use that as well. It's also good because you can as well. You can use you know the the five minute on on the heads like that. If you're only making a couple, maybe three or four sand eels like that. 
just put it on, stick them in the drying wheel, job, job's done. Um, you know, it depends what you fancy. So there's lots of lots of different ways of doing stuff. Um, this this has just been my personal way. Um, how I found over, God, when did I start tying pipe flies? Late 80s? First ones, I don't know. I've been doing that a good many years. Um, but yeah, certainly, um, if you want all round, if you want one particular all round, does the job, um, get a UV, uh, get a Yoohoo. Yoohoo is the best all rounder. Again, I've done this on one take, so I'm not going to edit anything out, you know. And thanks to Jeff and Annihilator in the background for providing a, a soundtrack. And if you don't like metal, then go carp fishing. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Greetings from the cave.